Okay, welcome back to my channel. Um, this week's pickups I'm actually quite happy with. I've done a really good week. Um, gone out and about, picked up quite a lot. And yeah, all honesty, I'm quite impressed with this week's pickups. Got to admit, there's probably one, two that are probably more space fillers, but no, I've done quite well this week, I think. All right, should we get started? First game, original Xbox game. Um, had to pick it up. It was two pound fifty in CX, Atari, Anthology. Comes with the manual, the disc. It's all there. I want. I had to pick this up because when yeah, I basically grew up with an Atari. Well, the Atari era. I didn't actually have an Atari myself. I had the old Inter Television. Yeah, my parents made the wrong mistake, the wrong choice, but. The, the um, Inter Television was still a good, I still enjoyed playing it, but my mate had an Atari and I used to go around his house and play his Atari. Um, there's 80 classic games on here. And I pretty much know every single one of them because I've played them one, one time or another. So I had to pick this up, I had to get it. It is definitely worth getting. Um, I suppose some. Like my kids would look at it and go, no, I ain't playing that, the graphics are really bad. But no, come on, that's the classic part of it. You've got to play the 8-bit bloody music on it to start with. Just, oh, anyway. Brilliant game, loads of classics on it. Worth playing, try and play it. Okay, so my next pick up is a DVD. I picked up Final Fantasy Spirit Within. It was a pound. Um, I haven't seen this since it was released. I bought it when it came first ever came out on DVD, and I bought it and watched it around a mate of mine's house, and I've never seen it since. And I couldn't remember why I'd never seen it since, because um, it was supposed to be quite good. So I picked it up. I watched it. It was so boring, I fell asleep watching it. Um, I remember it being a, a bit better in that, but I, I'm gonna give it another go. I will watch it again, try and stay awake this time. But I know there's likers and there's haters out there, but my opinion's my opinion, your opinion's your opinion. We all have our own opinions. What can I say? Final Fantasy Spirit of Inner, we'll give it another watch. So my next pickup is not a great pickup. It's, I don't even know why I picked up Tell Truth. Puss in Boots, Connect game. I've picked up quite a few Connect games recently if you watch some of my other videos. Don't play them very often. Oh, this one's also got the leaflet in the disc. I don't really play them all that much. Not big into Connect. I don't even think I've switched it on yet, but I still need to do that challenge um, I challenged someone, didn't I, and they've got to do cent Dance Central, so I'm going to get her to do that. I might have to do that at work, though. Um, yeah, so Puss in Boots, Connect Game, what can I say? This is how you become a sword fighting legend. Feel the power of the sword. Aha! The challenge! Music can be a powerful weapon. Bring out the claws! You are no match for my boots! Fear me, 
if you dare. DreamWorks Puss in Boots, the video game. Rated everyone 10 and up. Okay, so next pickup is Assault Horizon. Ace Combat. So Assault Horizon, I'm guessing it's called. Um, yeah, it's a flying game, as far as I'm aware. I'm simulated sort of flying game. Um, like I said, many before on videos, but some of you might not know. I'm not into big flying games. I will give it a go. Always got to give every single game released a try once. It was only £2.50 from CEX. Oh, somebody made a comment on my last video saying, take the stickers off and don't stop buying classic games. I do take the stickers off. If you watch my collection video, you'll see every single one of my games has not got stickers on. They're all completely cleaned up and clean. I, I make sure that all the sticky stuff, all the stickers are taken off everything and I make sure they're nice and shiny and clean. And I will be doing that with this one. But yeah, it's another flying game. Ace Combat, Assault Horizon. Copy that, shooter. Right on your six. The aircraft approaching at high speed. More wolf. Careful. We have a downed airman here and civilian casualties. Sorry. I owe you a cigar. Yeah. All right. Make it up to me with another of your uncle's hand rolled ones. So next is another one of those film franchises that made into a game, Aragon. Um, I didn't mind the film Aragon. Some people say it was really bad. I didn't actually mind it personally. I thought it was an okay film. Shame they didn't make any more. Would have been nice to see what the story's like. I might have to get the books and read them at some point then. If the, I don't know. Comes a disc and cover. It only cost me a quid from CX, as you can see on the front. Um, yeah, worth buying, good game, well, I'll take that back so I don't actually know if it's a good game, it's a good film, I was supposed to say, I will give the game a try, see what I think of it, um, but I like the film, anyone has any comments on that, let me know in the comments, Aragon. Okay, so the next game is another space filler, basically. It's called Child of Eden. Okay. And it says if you have epilepsy, don't play it. Okay. Um, yeah. I've seen it in CX quite a few times, only a quid. I've never actually pulled the trigger on it before, till now. Um... I don't want to sound horrible people, probably say it's really good, but I'm not 100% sure I'm ever playing it. Might give it a go. And it says better with Connect, so I'll take you to play it without the Connect. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes with this one. Okay.
Right, so now we're into the better pickups, as far as I'm concerned. Right, I've managed to find another Spider-Man game. Um, I've picked up The Amazing Spider-Man 2. 15 quid. Um, yeah, the Spider-Man games are very expensive, especially, what's it called, the Web of Shadows is 98 quid on CX. Very rarely have it in stock. Every time they get it in stock, I think, oh, and it goes before I get to do anything. So that might be a much later buy. Wait till I can find it. It might go down in price a bit later. Very much doubt it, because everything's shooting up at the moment. But yeah, um, Amazing Spider-Man. Got the original one, the first one, Amazing Spider-Man, so now I've got Amazing Spider-Man 2. So that's two of the Spider-Man games I've got so far. I've just quite a few more to get, but I am slowly picking them up when I can find them. Otherwise I'm going to have to look online and buy them online, but I've been trying to buy them recently, um, recently, um, locally, to try and, you know, you've got to help some of the local shops and stuff. I know it's, you look at games and you think, you, sometimes you buy them online because it's just easier and they got them. But no, Spider-Man game. Gotta play Spider-Man. Aunt May's gonna hear about this sooner or later. And I don't want her to be alone when she does. Worse, having a wedgie or people seeing me pick my costume out of my butt. Okay, so my next pickup was in a local shop. Um, I picked this one up in another game or Yep, another one game. Um, I picked up Transformers The Game. Um, anything not great about this one, it's an original Xbox box. Some of you know what I mean by that, some of you don't. Um, yeah, Transformers, the original, the, um, the game. Film was not great, but the game was hopefully better. Normally not that way around, but I've, I've played a few of the, the Transformers games. I've played yeah, a few. I can't remember which ones I've played, but I've played quite. I've played a couple of them. I played the cartoony type one. I can't remember what that one's called. Um, I enjoyed that. I got quite a laugh on it. But no, I picked up Transformers the movie game. The game, sorry, not the movie. It's based on the get movie, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that one. I picked. I think it cost me six pound um, from the local shop. Very good condition. Got a sticker on the back of it saying six pounds, so there you go. Six pounds, it says used. Sam, take a look over here. I can see that this one is choosing you. Its price tag is sending you a signal. Well, I'll be. What about this one? The Camaro. It's definitely calling me. Please, Dad. Okay, come on, Sam. Time to deal for your wheels. Cool, Dad. Thank you. It's up to you to protect Sam Witwicky and the artifact from the Decepticons. Head for the high school and keep a close watch on him. Remain vigilant. That's my car? Oh, where can I get one like that? He's buying his time. Come on, run! So the next one I picked up, I picked up in that same shop at the same time. It cost me £12.50, which I thought was quite a bargain. Because I'm sure CX sell it for like 35 maybe 45 I can't remember now. I'd have to have a look. Um, I picked up the Alien Breed Trilogy. Um, 
disc manual. As far as I remember, I think these games came out in the Atari, I think it was, not Atari. Might have been the Atari, I originally came out on those. Um, obviously they've boosted up a bit, made it better. But I'm sure the Alien Breed games are originally on one of the old systems. Might have even been the Commodore 64 from what I remember, and the Spectrum. But I can't remember, I know there's an old franchise, very old. Um, but now I've played a few of these, I, I think I played the third one because I couldn't find the other two at the time and you can get them on the store well till late this month the end of the month but they're, they're good games I thought it was worth picking up CX don't have any in stock and my local one had it for £12.50 I'm guessing he doesn't realise prices are going up he hasn't hired them yet so I grabbed it while I had the chance so yep Alien Breed great game you know you got to play games like this. I think it's um, aerial view down, from what I remember. Look at the back; it looks like that. Yeah, it's, it's fun. So my next pickup was from the same shop again for a £12.50 again and it was Dark. Okay, um, I just liked the look of the cover while I picked that up and I realised in CEX it's a lot more expensive again. Um, as far as I know about the game, I don't really know much about it, but as far as I know about it, you're a vampire. Yep, you're a vampire. I like vampires. I think I play this. I don't know what you do, all I know is you're a vampire. Um, I, I like the Blood Rain games on the original Xbox, Blood Rain 1 2. I, I hope this is a bit like that because I did enjoy them. Look at the back, I can't really tell. I just know you, all I know is you're a vampire. I ain't got my glass, I ain't got the right glass on, so I can't read it. All, oh, it actually says you are a vampire on the back. Your name is Eric Blake. You are the ultimate hunter. You are a shadow. I can't. I ain't got the right glasses on. The red writing's bloody hard to read. The red and white. Anyway, yeah. So, anyone knows anything about Dark? Let me know. It's supposedly a good game. Let's we'll see. And it's expensive in CX. I couldn't explain what had just happened. Had I just killed someone and drank his blood? I'm telling you, the bastard done Mikey tore his fucking throat out. Okay, man, calm down. We'll keep you safe. If he comes over here, we'll take him out. So my next pickup is Devils May Cry HD Collection, which consists of Devils May Cry 1, 2 and 3. I have all three on the PlayStation 2. I played the first one on the PlayStation 2 many, many, many years ago. 
like 20 odd years ago. Um, but they got the HD version, supposedly done up. I don't know if they're going to look any better or not. And like the Silent Hill ones, the HD collection was pointless because it was worse than the original. Um, but yeah, this looks quite good to me. I think I'm definitely going to have to play it. Um, yeah, that's next on my list. So the last pickup is Marvel Ultimate Alliance, cost me 18 quid. Um, yeah, again, he dropped it in. Not 100% sure about it, but it's a Marvel game, so I'm guessing you play as all the Marvel characters and you have a bit of fun while you're at it. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got to get the second one as well. I think I need the second one. Yeah. As usual, comes with a manual and disc. Got it from CEX. Yes, it's got the stickers on it, guy. I will be taking the stickers off. So, yeah, that's my pickup. Greetings. My name is Vision. I will be your primary source of information concerning any persons or locales you might encounter. Unfortunately, my line to the SHIELD database has a security issue. Would you retrieve a decryption module from Black Widow and bring it to me? The acronym stands for Strategic Hazard Intervention, Espionage and Logistics Directorate. Its primary responsibility is counter-terrorism for the world. Operating under the jurisdiction of the United Nations, SHIELD is expected to deal with any threat to the security of the world's population. That designation has been used several times. So I hope you enjoyed the video and my pickups this week. Um, I've, I think this is probably one of my better weeks for pickups. I've got quite a few more of the I wouldn't say big hitters. Like I, I wouldn't even know what really a big hitter is, to tell you the truth. It's a big hitter got to be over like 20 quid. It's a big hitter over 30 quid. Or a big hitter over 50 quid. What, what do you class as a big hitter? Because in my opinion, those games I've got there are good games. I wouldn't say they're big hitters, but I would say they're worth getting for your collection. Um, some of them are, I find them a bit harder to get hold of. But... Are they big hitters or are they just good games? But anyway, let me know your opinion of what you think. Um, yeah, so I'm got. I think I'm going to have a reasonably good week next week as well. So I've picked up a couple for next week's video already. Um, some of them I'm quite happy with. One of them I'm not so happy with, but only because the manual's missing. Um, but. Yeah, I'm going to keep on going, going to keep on buying some more to get another video out there for next week. Um, as I've said many times before, it's getting harder to do these videos. The fact that my every single 
Xbox 360 game in my CEX I've got now. So I need to source them online to get them now and hope they come in time. Um, I suppose I can go to local shops again and have another look around. I haven't, I haven't been to charity shops in a while. I'm finding charity shops are getting a bit more expensive these days. Not quite as cheap and cheerful as they used to be. I think I went into one and it had FIFA... Was it FIFA 2009 on the Xbox 360? I think it was. And they wanted a fiver for it. I know it's a charity shop and I know the money goes to a good place and stuff. But at the end of the day, the way things are at the moment... You, you don't want to spend too much money on a game that's not worth the money especially when you can walk down the road and pick it up 50p but it's one of those things I, I do give to charity quite a bit so especially the hospices and stuff but yeah so we'll see how it goes we'll get some more games in get some more videos done and see how we can do uh, thank you for watching again you know the usual please click like please subscribe if you're not subscribed already um leave me a comment let me know what you think of my video and how i do it if you've got any um any um suggestions give me some suggestions on if i can make it better or what i should stop doing or whatever got me i haven't had the chicken go for a while uh, the cockerel sorry but anyway thank you for watching i'm starting to miss the cockerel and I was going to say live long and prosper, but I thought that's a bit stupid. Now I look stupid. Penguin. Um, no. Farewell. See you later. Bye bye. Have a good one.